Hello crochet friends, welcome back. Working on our snowman in a mug, we're working on our snowman. This is the head for mine, the um, part that I'm making right now. I've already made the other two parts. So I put on eyes. If you're doing buttons for the body, put those on now because we're about to close up our project, okay? So we are still working in the round. We are round 11 and we're going to work in the back loops only. So we've done that before, we know what we're doing, not a problem. But we're going to single crochet decrease in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. If you've not single crocheted decreased before, I will help with that. Um, we did do it in the mug, so if you need a little refresher, and I will put a link down below if you need that. So fear not, we can do this. So in the back loop only, remember there are two loops on our stitch. This is the back. We're gonna enter, yarn over and pull through. We're gonna go into the next stitch. Enter, yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our shank, right? Yarn over and pull through all three. Pulls it together, starts to close up the work. Next stitch, we're gonna do just a single crochet, but in the back loop only, okay? So enter the back loop, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And then we repeat, because we're gonna do this all the way around. So enter the back loop only, yarn over and pull through, enter the back loop only, yarn over and pull through. This is our decrease. Yarn over and pull through all three. So there's your decrease. Now we get a single crochet. Enter the back loop only, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. So keep repeating this pattern, back loop only, the whole way until you get to the end. I'll see you there. Okay, this is my last single crochet. I'm gonna pull out my marker. We're gonna join with the first stitch, right? So let's see, that was right here. We're gonna, well, hang on one second. Yep, it's right here. Enter, yarn over and pull through, pull through the slip stitch, right? Get your slip stitch there. Yarn over and pull through for a chain one. Okay, so that's the end of round 11. Grab your stuffing. We're gonna stuff this little guy before we finish closing him up. And we run out of room, right? We can't do anything. So get your stuffing in there. Try to make it the same, if you've made your other ones, try to make it the same stuffing amount. I know that, that kinda sounds weird, but you, you know what I'm trying to say, so that they're equally stuffed. <laughs> um, so we're gonna give it our best here. I think I might need just a tiny bit more. Um, because I want them to be equal. Okay, that feels pretty good. Firm, but yet a little squishy so you can still mold it. Okay, put your hook back in your work. Now, for round 12, we're gonna single, do, single crochet decrease until this is all closed up. I think I'm going the wrong way. I guess I was going the right way. I'll make sure I have this right, okay. So I know the stuffing gets in the way. We've talked about this before and it is a little frustrating. So just do your best to push it down in there and keep working with it. So single crochet decreases around until we close up this hole here. So enter, yarn over and pull through, enter the next, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing this just the decreasing decreasing no single crochets in between now okay so we're just decreasing all the way around so you will go around probably more than once so don't you know don't think you're doing something wrong you're just going to keep going so this closes up and then if you get to the middle and you feel like it's not closed up quite enough you can always take your tail and sew it in a little bit um this being the head of the snowman, you would wanna make sure it's closed up pretty good. The two bodies, um, you're gonna be sewing them or gluing them together onto the mug. So they, they should be fine. Like they don't have to be perfect if you have a little tiny hole there that you're concerned about, okay? So just to give you a heads up on that, but your head, a little important. Now, there are ways you can get creative with this project. Um, if you're trying to figure out what you want to do with it, I you could put a hat on them, which I think would be cute too. Uh, the project doesn't call for that, but that's, you know, we always want to make it our own and make it creative. You could even make them like a little Santa hat kind of look. 
Um, so, I mean, I think the possibilities are endless on making this your own personal work of art. So, you know, you do you and make it the way you want it to be and use the colors that you like and you can, you know, make them all different. So that is pretty closed up for me. I'm trying to feel the stuffing and everything. So I'm gonna knot this here and I'm gonna find my yarn needle. So when you are done with all these, make sure that you are tucking in your tails and you're getting um, this top pulled in. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. It kind of sticks up when you knot it and I think it's just because of the shape of it. So what I kind of did with the other two, I just kind of went in and I pulled it all the way down, came out the side like this, see, and it kind of pulls that in. So it looks neater. I, I think it looks a little neater. What do you think? I think it's okay. All right. So then we'll cut it off so that you don't see that tail. Don't cut your work. Don't cut your work. <laughs> okay. So. Um, next time we're gonna assemble. I'll be putting on the nose and getting them all set. And I think he's cute. So, so far so good. Remember you need three of these. You need the head, the middle of the body, and the, and the bottom. So get all those together and we'll assemble next time. We'll see you then. Thank you and have a joyful day.